My first memories of this house are um, involve my great grandmother, Carla um, Heyrich King Harrison, who um, lived to be 106 and died when I was in my 20s. Um, and she and I were quite close. And um, I remember walking around this house with her and hearing all of her stories of you know, growing up here. She was born here, but then also growing up here, getting married here, coming back to visit. Um, and then my grandmother's stories of coming here every Sunday for lunch and um, just all of the all of the rich family history. My name is Adela Griswold and I am Christian Hyrick's great great granddaughter. that Christian Heyrich's story is at its core the story of um, an immigrant who came to this country and this city with very little and um, and really struggled. We are in a moment right now in our history as a country and in this city where immigration and discrimination are, are continuing to be huge issues and I think that through the lens of this house we have a responsibility as well as a opportunity um, to be deeply welcoming and deeply celebratory of an immigrant experience. It's been really fun to see this city become vibrant and young in a way that I don't recall it being before. It's, I think it feels less stodgy now and less staid and more energized and quirky. And I think that um, that this house has a way of uh, pulling all of that together. I mean, obviously there's not a lot that's, that's young and vibrant in the walls and the furniture and the decor here, but the energy that Washingtonians bring to this space is very much that. There are so many opportunities to, for the melding of old and new to happen in this space um, that I think is pretty pretty unique in the city um, based off of where we are geographically as well as um, just what we have to offer as a, um, a cultural landmark and hub. You know, the fact that we have made it a point to work with DC artisans and we've got all these DC brewers and um, you know locals who walk by the house who for years just sort of thought oh that's a cool looking old Victorian structure um, and then finally make it in whether it's for an event like the Christmas market or they come in and, and have a beer during a 1921 happy hour. I can't help but feel like Christian Hyrick would be unsurprised. He was clearly really a visionary in, in his business and you know knowing the story of how he you know emigrated to this country from Germany and and what he was able to build here I think he clearly had a level of of foresight and imagination that were um, extraordinary. I think there are so many things about what this space is right now that would be either surprising or perhaps shocking to him. When I think about my great-grandmother, Carla, I think that she would be really proud of what we've been able to do in terms of keeping some of these stories alive and engaging the community. She was an artist and cared deeply about um, education. And I think that she would love to see some of the things that we've done in terms of highlighting local artists and um, different programs that we've got with local school kids and you know bringing them in and having them learn about this period of history through the lens of the house. I think that she would be thrilled about all of that. Um, and she had a, a great smile and a fun laugh and I would love to hear it as we told her about what, what we're up to here.